Today's pharmaco topic is drug safety. Drugs approved by the FDA must be shown to be safe and effective. Most adverse effects of drugs are dose dependent, meaning the higher the dose, the worse the adverse effect becomes. Therapeutic index is the relationship between safety and effectiveness and is determined by dividing the toxic dose by the effective dose. The toxic dose, or TD50, is the amount that is toxic in 50% of a population and is divided by ED50, which is the therapeutic dose, or the dose that is effective for the desired response in 50% of a population. Higher therapeutic index values represent a relatively safer drug or a bigger difference between toxic and effective doses. For example, if the TD50 of a drug is 1,000 mg and the ED50 is 10 mg, the therapeutic index would be 100 and would be a relatively safe drug. In contrast, dangerous drugs have a low therapeutic index because toxic and effective doses are more similar. For example, if the TD50 of a drug was 100 mg and the ED50 for the same drug was 80 mg, the therapeutic index would be 1.25 and a potentially dangerous drug. The therapeutic window may be described as the minimum toxic concentration, or MTC, divided by the minimum effective concentration, or MEC. The MTC is the minimum concentration that causes toxic effect. The MEC is the minimum concentration necessary for desired drug effect. The therapeutic window is the gap between these two. Drugs with a wide therapeutic window or those with a low MEC and a high MTC are relatively more safe. Drugs with a narrow therapeutic window or those with a high MEC and a low MTC are relatively more dangerous and may require regular drug monitoring. Examples include digoxin, lithium, warfarin, and amphotericin. Most adverse effects are dose dependent, but some are dose independent, including drug allergy and idiosyncrasy. While it's possible that anyone can develop an allergy to any medication, some drugs are more likely to cause allergies than others. Some of these include antibiotics, NSAIDs, contrast agents, anticonvulsant medications, and chemotherapeutic agents. An allergic drug response can range from mild to severe. Symptoms occur in different parts of the body and may include skin reactions, like urticaria, rash, pruritus, angioedema, and flushing. Also, various respiratory symptoms include dyspnea and shortness of breath. GI symptoms may also occur, including nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, and diarrhea. Cardiovascular symptoms like hypotension, tachycardia, and syncope may also occur. Systemic symptoms may include fever, fatigue, swollen lymph nodes, which of those symptoms are manifested is determined by the particular drug and individual patient response. Anaphylaxis is a severe life-threatening allergic reaction and may include some or all of the following symptoms. Low blood pressure, difficulty breathing from laryngoedema or bronchospasms, rapid or weak pulse, confusion and nausea and vomiting. Drug idiosyncrasy is unpredictable, abnormal drug reaction that occurs in a small subset of those taking the drug. This type of a reaction is not related to the drug dose, but is due to genetic predisposition and immune response. Idiosyncratic responses range widely in severity and may involve various organs. Examples of idiosyncrasy include Steven Johnson syndrome, and toxic epidermal necrolysis. These skin conditions are life-threatening and may be caused by certain anticonvulsants like carbamazepine and antibiotics like sulfonamides. Drug-induced liver injury may be caused by certain antibiotics, NSAIDs, and anticonvulsants. 
Hemolytic anemia may be induced by some antibiotics and NSAIDs. Agranulocytosis may be caused by antithyroid drugs and antipsychotic medications. Remember these idiosyncratic reactions occur rarely but can be severe. Undesired effects are the negative effects of the drug. They are often termed adverse drug reactions, or ADRs. These include side effects, which are mainly annoying, but not especially harmful. For example, ACE inhibitors are used to treat high blood pressure and often cause a dry cough as a side effect. More seriously, they may cause hyperkalemia as an adverse effect. Furthermore, ACE inhibitors are contraindicated in pregnancy because they increase the risk for cleft palate and may damage the kidney in the developing fetus. So they may be described as being nephrotoxic to, to the developing fetus. A drug that damages the heart, such as Ipecac, which induces vomiting, is said to be cardiotoxic. And a drug that damages the liver is known to be hepatotoxic. Acetaminophen is hepatotoxic in higher doses. Drugs that cause cancer are carcinogenic, like the antibiotic chloramphenicol. Drugs that are dangerous for the fetus are teratogenic, like isotretinoin, used for acne. Now for some questions. Pause the video and think of your answers. If you answered the following, you are correct. Thanks for watching.